All right, so thank you, Asim, for the uh, comment, even though it didn't get posted. Either you deleted it or YouTube deleted it. I don't know why they would have, um, but I, I did see it through through my feed today. And then you guys obviously saw this announcement when you were first logging into the game. They've announced that the uh, publisher is going to be uh, dropped and it's going back to Smart Study Games and it's people who actually made Monster Super League. And all this is is to make sure your data is saved. Uh, make sure you have it linked to Facebook, Google, or your Apple account um, on whatever device you're playing it. There's this way you guys save your account. I have mine all mine's all squared and squared away and good to go. However, I do want to make one mention, and this is for uh, Apple users specifically. So if you're on iOS, like an iPhone or an iPad, um, I play the game on an iPad. Uh, and the way I got it over to record it is uh, through uh, linking it to Facebook. So keep this in mind. If you want to play Monster Super League on your laptop, your computer specifically, or let's say you change phones uh, for whatever reason, the best way and the only way you're going to be able to play Monster Super League uh, in that in that fashion is linking it through Facebook. Once it's on Facebook, you can then uh, link it to also a Google account and then you'll be squared away and you can play it on uh, pretty much the better, better emulators are all Android emulators anyway. But again, this still counts as if you were on it, if you were transferring for, let's say, an iPhone to an Android phone to a to a Samsung, let's say. Right. So make sure you guys just get your accounts linked, however. And again, if you're going to try to play the game on the computer or you're transferring from an, uh, an Apple iPhone to like an Android, um, make sure you link it through Facebook first, and then you can uh, do Google. Facebook still works and, and all that jazz. So just uh, make sure you guys get that done before September 7th. Um, the the other thing I was going to bring up was a little bit of the funny of the comments that I did see on there. And that they were um, specifically... Uh, <laughs> people were having a, a fit because it's like the publisher's changing. This is rip. Oh my God, we're going to lose the game. And it's like, no, no, no guys, that's not necessarily what's going to happen. I mean, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. It's not in our control, but at the same point, you do, do realize that smart studies, the one that makes monster super league. So this is where the developer is. This is where all the content for the game comes from. Uh, so it being in their hands, I think, is a positive thing because now they don't have to worry about a publisher um, dictating um, certain things. And I'm not into that business, so I don't know everything that a publisher does. I just know that I'd much rather have the game in the hands of the people who make it and whatever way they end up steering the ship is how how I'm just going to accept it. I mean, we really all we can do is accept that that how it goes. Right. So. Um, but enough of that. Let us get going. How much time do we got? We have 23 hours, so we got to get on. We're going to be making that capture festival video again here just to give you guys some tips about that. Do that every month regardless. And it looks like we're good to go. So yeah, it was kind of, again, it was pretty funny reading a lot of those comments in there. It's like, calm down, guys. Again, I'd much rather have, have somebody's, you know, intellectual property be in their hands so that they can make the choices. And again, that's good or going to be good or bad. Um, Again, something that's it's not an area of expertise I know of, so I can't say too much about it except for I know of other things in the past that have succeeded that it was because the uh, the gaming the people who actually made the the game had full control over uh, their say and whatnot. And with a live service like this, I mean this is this is something that's been on for the past you know five years. We're going on five years now. And whatnot and i'll just love to some of the comments you know were freaking out and they're like rip you know rip msl and i'm going yeah and they just announced all the winners for you know design a costume i don't think they would go through that big of like they wouldn't go through that kind of a thing to be like cool we're gonna go through 3d we're gonna not only do the artwork we're gonna 3d model your your character design and put it into the game just to shut the game down next month it's like, come on, 
where's some of these people's brains, man? Or argue, I guess you could argue if they even have brains. Like, that's not how this works. Because I'm already super excited for next month anyway, because again, I'm actually going to be able to play a, a, capture li uh, a capture festival. And again, you know a lot of, you guys who watch my, my daily videos know I talk about this a lot, but I promote a lot of the newer player stuff, right? For new players out there, because you guys, the newer players coming into the game and, you know, keeping you interested to keep stick your, you know, you sticking around is what keeps the game going. And... You know, next month there's going to be a lot of stuff uh, that they're, they usually give away. And you guys are going to also be able to get some really decent uh, light and dark Astromon. The, the fest, uh, like Zephyros here, is not a bad Astromon. Uh, Mini Tina, Mini, uh, Mini Sarah um, are really good Astromons. And so, uh, and again, for me as an older player, I'm excited too because there's going to be something new. They've done that every year. So, um,. So yeah, it's just, it's a great, it's going to be a great uh, time next month to hopefully get some uh, some of you guys some new Astromon that'll be um, pivotal in your teams and help you push a little bit more forward in content because the Astromon that are in there are good. I mean, I give you an example. When I, uh, when I game came back, I had uh, uh, mi the Mini Tina was the first one coming out. And that one, uh, I caught four of those, and I evolution threed all of them. And th for a while, that was my team. That was my farming team for everything. Uh, they went through extreme like it was butter. Uh, they were really good. So, uh, yeah, I was messing around with this, wasn't I? I was like, I brought my Victoria out? What am I doing? Oh, yeah, having fun. Well, I guess that settles what we're catching today huh i i i'm pretty sure there's that cooldown i swear there's like a 24 hour cooldown sometimes of have you seen a rare because every time i i go to sleep you know turn the game off and then uh, when i wake up and get on here and we do these um <laughs> i always seem to get a rare this has happened more times uh, especially doing these dailies and recording it than i can count so I swear there's an internal timer that's like, you haven't seen anything. We're going to give you something. And it's always, it's always one of the three, right? So uh, I'm not going to complain and I will take it. Another, another three star to put into the machine. Oh, uh, sure. Let's let's poke poke the light team here. <laughs> Beat me if you can. All right, hold on. All right. Still did decent damage here. I'm not scared of his Victoria. Dark Arthur is arguably the worst out of all of this. So I'm not scared of that. Uh, however, I do want to see what comes out and light, light Miho defense down. Uh, I'm just going to have to let that one go. I really, I'm going to have to risk it. All right, I'll take that. We'll just do a little bit more damage there. And perfect. Ah, uh, Fire Succubus isn't bad. But... Entirely too dependent, dependent on your crit rate. That's the only problem with her. Well, let's just do that, and... Well, never mind. That took you out. Defense down, OP. And I think that's gonna do it. Let's see about our defense. That was a revenge match? From where?
I'm not surprised why that one lost. Yeah, that's not surprising. That one's a little surprising, but yeah, I can see why that one went down. Yeah, that one should that one definitely should have won. Interesting. All right. Oh, we've got the weekend tomorrow. Uh, we should have free access into the Tower of Chaos. So as a at the end, tail end here, uh, make sure you guys are going to get into the Tower of Chaos. Uh, that's going to be free entry, so you don't have to spend anything because it's the first weekend of the month. So uh, make sure, unless it was, no, what shouldn't have been on Sunday. We'll see tonight when it rolls over, but... Um, yeah, we're going to leave that there. Uh, again, uh, make sure you guys uh, go out and have your accounts uh, bound so you, your data gets saved. And I will see you all in uh, tomorrow's daily.